Hello everyone. Today is our second lecture and in this lecture you have to solve this puzzle. Okay. Uh, in this lecture we are going to study about uh, opportunity cost and the concept of production possibilities frontiers or curve. But before we move we have to recall what we learned in our last class. We discussed that our basic problem that our wants are unlimited and our resources are limited, which we call it scarcity. Since our resources are scarce, but our wants are unlimited, people has to behave in a certain manner. And the way they behave, we call it economics. So how do they behave? They behave in a way that they go with the option of choices. Now, what is choice? Every time you make a choice, like making a choice means comparing alternative and selecting that the one that will give you the highest satisfaction or net benefit. It also means that you are giving up on the value of next best alternative. Let's suppose if you have a limited time, you have one hour, you want to uh, either you play cricket, football or any other game or study. Now you have to sacrifice one thing. In that one hour, either you sacrifice half hour, like let's suppose you said that, okay, for half an hour I will uh, study and for remaining half an hour I will play. So half an hour you sacrifice for other thing. It's not possible that for one in that one hour you study and at the same time you uh, play any game. So you have to make the choices. And choice means comparing alternative. You compare both things. Like if it's an exam time, you will say, okay, uh, since it's an exam time, I have to prioritize my thing and I should skip uh, playing games and I concentrate. I should concentrate on my studies. So when you sacrifice one thing to get another thing, because your resources are limited, in that limited resources, you identified that, okay, what are the things that can satisfy you, that can maximize your satisfaction. So on that basis, you made a choice. When you made a choice, you sacrifice one thing and you went with the other option. The thing you sacrificed, we call this opportunity cost. The thing you sacrifice, like you have, we discussed scarcity, our resources are limited, our wants are unlimited. How to tackle this situation? We have to tackle this situation by making choices. When we make choice, you have to sacrifice one thing to achieve another thing. The thing you sacrifice is called opportunity cost. Remember, there is nothing free in this world. Everything has its cost. If you achieve one thing, you have to sacrifice another thing. And we call it foregone next best alternative. Whatever next best alternative you had, so you foregone that thing. We have an example which I gave you immediately. As, as I said, we have cost of everything. I have one hour of studying. Either I study or I go and watch uh, two episodes of any movie or any such thing. Or any cartoon movie. So now I have to make a choice. I have one hour. Either I go study or I go with watching two TV episodes. So it completely depends. If I go with two TV episodes, so I have to sacrifice studying. If I go with the study option, I have to sacrifice two TV episodes. So whatever you sacrifice is called opportunity cost. And that happens in uh, our daily life as well. When you have two choices, so you have to sacrifice one thing. And that sacrifice, uh, whatever you sacrifice is called opportunity cost. So that was the basic concept of opportunity cost. Now we try to understand another concept, which is, which is production possibility curve. Now what is production possibility curve? Let's look at the exam, uh, definition first. A curve that shows the maximum combination of two output that an economy can produce. It is a curve, it is a diagram that shows the maximum combination of two output that an economy can produce. Okay, given its available resources and technology. It's the same concept we discussed in opportunity cost that since you have limited resources, you have to sacrifice one thing to achieve another thing. You have, and the, whatever you sacrifice, you call it opportunity cost. The same goes with economy, the same goes in your uh, personal life. Uh, what I, what important thing about this production possibilities curve, 
that it says that a curve that shows the maximum combination of two outputs. That means we have to take the assumption that whenever we have to apply this production possibility curve model, so we will always have two outputs. If it's more than two outputs, then we go with some other model. Uh, this model is only applicable if we have two products. Let's suppose I want to eat grapes or I want to go with apple producer production of apple. So there are these are two items. So I have to sacrifice one thing to to produce another thing. That's why it says given its available resources and technology. That means production possibility curve is a diagrammatic diagrammatic presentation of the combination or bundles of two goods or services which an economy can produce at its full employment level okay so we can say that we have uh, there are three or four assumptions which you have to take before applying that model first assumption we discussed that it will always have two outputs it cannot be one output it cannot be more than two outputs okay let's discuss first uh, assumptions what are the assumptions then I will I'm, we are going to discuss this table and diagrams so we said first assumption economy only produces two goods right now what's the second assumption second assumption given its available resources whatever resources are, are available you it cannot increase it cannot decrease we have limited resources we cannot increase our resources like if I want to produce both the goods, I say, okay, let's increase the resources. So if we are increasing the resources, then this model is not applicable. So the second product point, our resources are fixed. It's not variable. It cannot increase or decrease. Third thing we said available resources and technology. Let's suppose uh, you are producing uh, 100 units of uh, something, but with the tech advanced technology or technology improvement, you said that okay i can in one hour earlier i was producing 100 now i can produce 120 so i had time constraint and everything but since my technology has improved so i can produce more so this thing is not possible in the case of production possibilities curve because we said our resources are fixed the same time we can there is no change in technology okay so these are three, three assumptions which you have to consider when we talk about production possibility curve we discuss what is production possibility curve it's a diagrammatic presentation of the combination of or bundles of two goods or services which an economy can produce at its full employment level it tells you that okay if you have limited resources and uh, let's suppose in a country some people say no we, we should go with uh, uh, we should uh, build 10 hospitals some people say no hospitals are required but at the same time we uh, we need education so we should build 10 schools or colleges or any other uh, educational center now you have two opinions okay hospitals and education now you know that i can produce i can uh, only build either 10 hospitals or 10 education centers or i can produce four or six depends the, then you do the analysis that okay i have limited resources what are the requirements based on that requirements you go uh, you make this uh, uh, curve or diagram and you make a decision that okay what's the best possible output you can build or you can produce let's take an example uh, we have table available here production possibility we said a b c d f there are six possibilities we have uh, on, now we want to produce either grapes or apples we said since our resources are limited so we said if i produce 15 apples so i cannot produce any grapes however i have produced 14 apples so i will be able to produce one grape if i produce 12 apples i would be able to produce two grapes and so on like nine apples i can produce three grapes five apples i can produce four grapes zero apple i can produce five grapes and as we said that it's a diagrammatic uh, presentation so let's look into the diagram this is the diagram of ppc production possibilities curve in that diagram you can see this green line 
this green line means are the sources we said we have fixed the sources and we will utilize it as much as possible like maximum utilization of resources so this line this concave graph that indicates maximum utilization of resources okay and whatever we discussed here like on y axis we said 15 apples x axis we said zero so i can see you can see here on y axis we said if we produce 15 apples so we will not be able to produce any graphs Similarly, if we produce 14, so we will be able to produce one graph. 12, 2, 9, 3, 5, 4. And if we produce 5 graphs, so uh, on the other side, we cannot produce any apple. So that's the uh, combination we believe that we can produce. Now, there are three things which uh, you can see. One is point W. Another is point D. And third is unattainable point g we said full employment this is green line which is representing full employment and based on this whatever uh, we produce that's the maximum we can produce what about w in w this is within the resources that means we are not utilizing these resources if i say i produce 1.5 crabs and here i am producing six apples that means I am not using my resources fully because if you see this area, this area after W from W to E, no one is using anything. That means it is attainable, it is possible, but when is it possible? It is possible if I produce something inefficiently. If I don't use my resources, land, labor, capital, uh, what we said entrepreneur is a manager. If that entrepreneur doesn't use its resources, properly so in that result i think uh, we can attain it but it's an inefficiency same thing goes with g remember we discussed that uh, we have limited resources there is no change in technology we can only produce two goods so and we are saying this green line means it's fully employed our labor land and capital is fully employed i don't have any capacity if i don't have any capacity and someone comes and asks me to produce 14 sorry to produce 12 apples and four grapes right if i make a chart like this coming from here to g and coming down i don't have capacity i would say i don't have capacity to produce that much because I have already utilized my resources completely. So we will we say this point G, it's unattainable. This point W, it's attainable, but it's inefficient. What's the best efficient points? We have discussed that from A, B, C, D, E, F. There are different combinations you can produce. It depends on your circumstances and the decisions you make or priorities you make. So that's the production possibilities curve that tells you that, okay, if your resources are limited, and uh, your wants are unlimited so how to maximize your uh, how to maximize your satisfaction now move forward we i said that this is unattainable this is attainable but inefficient but there are circumstances where we say that are this fully employed resources moved to w or moved to other on the other side like g side when does this happen like first we have to discuss what are the reasons of shifting in production possibilities curve first thing as i said there is a movement look as i uh, it's moving either downwards or upwards when it moves to upward it's only possible when there is economic growth and if it moves downward it's only possible if there is an inefficiency we said in our last example that it's attainable but in inefficient that we didn't use our uh, resources efficiently or there are circumstances which didn't allow us to use our resources efficiently but on the other side if it moves to right side this green one if it moves this one so that means yes it can move but it can only move if there is an economic growth but remember we discussed that our we have assumptions that our resources are fixed if our resources move upward 
then it's an economic growth and based on this that's the only reason it can be moved if there, there is no other reason if i don't have resources how can i use it if resources are getting better and better then i am using it so just check the examples of growth accumulation of capital capital increase technology advances it's it will definitely be totally opposite of whatever we discussed uh, in assumptions we discussed there we have two goats we discussed we have reflex resources we have uh, we discussed that our technology uh, will remain constant on the other side if it's growth then we will say that our accumulation of capital uh, we have uh, capital increased technology advances or land or we improved our land initially uh, we were uh, uh, trying to produce apples but and the, on the same land if we were trying to improve uh, uh, produce grapes so it was not working but then we did something we put seeds whatever requirements of grapes we met and we were able to uh, produce grapes so that's the thing that uh, whatever will be a growth it will be the reversal or opposite of whatever assumption we discussed when we were initially discussing production possibility curve presentation okay what's the factors of declining there's a possibility that something uh, what happened birth rate decline there's a disease so you do, uh, didn't need uh, to fully utilize your resources or you lost your land anything happened uh, and because of that uh, that land was not uh, you were not able to produce same amount on that land and decrease in production due to aging population more and un educated people unskilled worker you utilize so when you utilize unskilled worker so definitely they didn't produce that result which you were expecting the same thing that uh, labor was not uh, skilled so these are uh, the reasons of growth and these are uh, on the other side the, these are the reasons of now there is another uh, point which we have to cover in production possibilities curve but uh, we are going to cover this in our next uh, topic uh, next uh, lecture because it's already we have covered significantly in our today's lecture hopefully uh, you like my lecture and you will subscribe and share our link with others thank you very much